welcome to the second video in series inside the uh, I I just a simple harmonica and I think I know it's causing problems with all of the laws and all of the laws I mentioned in previous videos. Let's have a look closely at what is going on here. I'm not sure how well you will be able to see the actual work here, but basically again it's personal opinion, this is what I would do for myself. Um embossing has not been done to a sufficient level. Who not has been done the well it should be done, in other words. So basically the rigged slot has been embossed mainly by the ring over here. And the remaining uh, space here hasn't been touched or maybe has been touched just a little bit. Um, having said that, I don't see any screwdriver marks on both sides of the ring. That means that um, rivet has been moved sideways, embossing has been done, it has been moved backwards upwards. Now, there are two problems with that. Um, since you move moving read from side to side, uh, it loosens the rivet. So the actual read becomes much more susceptible, susceptible, susceptible <laughs> to movement. So if you draw harmonic or you know, something knocks it or something like that, there is a probability of this read moving sideways and catching the read, uh, catching the read uh, plate. What I will do for myself is the following. I use the screwdriver on both sides of the rivet, just about here, and then I emboss the remaining part of the rigged slot with uh, tuning fork or some, some kind of object similar to that. Um, to compensate for the movement, customizer applied a large amount of nail varnish over the rivet, which has already mentioned dampened the um, sound a little bit of the, the actual rig and makes it a bit more kind of um, dull sounding and finish, less bright. So I will do that for myself, actually. Also, I noticed the second problem with this method is the following. There are still a substantial amount of holes exist by the rivet itself over here. So it's still there is possibility for air to escape. That means the rivet will be squeaking or it won't, it won't uh, bend upwards as you have shown me before it's not it's not a good um, practice so there is still there's a need to kind of use screwdriver or some sharp object to push the ring plate towards the ring so there also what i've noticed that the top end of harmonica has not been touched at all you can see there are actually spaces between the reed and reed plate are quite wide so that's why um overdraw um, I, I was having problems with overall nine hole. You can see nine, nine hole has been touched, hasn't been touched at all. Also, what I noticed that the actual uh, blow read has been done much better than the draw read. As you can see, embossing tolerances are quite quite narrow here, so you, you, you barely barely see them. But on the draw read, the situation is different. There are few few gaps, on which allow you um, which allow air to escape. So on the fifth hole, it's fine. Sorry, I'll go here. On the fifth hole, it's fine. But hole four and six have gaps. That was what that was was um, causing um, problems. I mentioned in previous videos. So there. I will have to fix it uh, for my friend, um, unfortunately. I, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, he paid $300 for this instrument and <laughs> which still requires um, extra, extra work to it. Um, <coughs> let me see. Um, you, you won't be able to see it here, but um, There are also gaps on this side of the reed plate over here, as you can see. There was no scooping down, yes, that's another thing. There was absolutely no scooping down the reed plate. Normally what I do for myself, I scooped it a little bit either on edges of the reed slot or all the way along here. What it allows you to do, it allows you to put reed much deeper into the reed plate uh, than it is. So it's uh, in other words, reduce tolerances. It will stop reed from sticking 
And also, of course, we'll make Amoeka much more airtight, much more responsive. Unfortunately, uh, it has not been done here at all. Um, I will make more details, detailed pictures of the uh, harmonica and I will post them somewhere and hopefully give you some more interesting things. So that's, um, that's about it. Um, overall, of course, I'm, I'm not, not impressed as you can guess. I'll probably not need to make any case by saying that, but I feel it's my obligation to just point out a couple of things about this um, instrument. Um, that's about it. That's all I want to say. So yeah, have fun. <laughs>